the executive director of the Plains Indians and Pioneers Museum. And this video is our 40th annual photography contest, Judging Comments. This year's judge, Ron Pierce from Oklahoma City, is a co-owner of the Grand Life Photography. So please enjoy the comments from our judge, Ron Pierce. All right, so here we have the theme award uh, for inspiring moments. And what's been chosen is the hands. And uh, it certainly tells a story of hard work. And the unwashed hands imply that the, the person has just stopped and they've gotten their photograph taken. The hands are older, uh, as indicated as such by the arthritis that appears to be in the knuckles of the hand. Or the hands. Overall, the uh, the photograph shows a lifetime of hard work. The texture is very pronounced, as are the tones, and the sepia, the slight, slight sepia tone in there really fits the photograph very well. Moving to category one for scenic, and here we have the first place. Very interesting shot. If you notice that there's there's an S curve that runs along the left hand side, and then the lines converge, uh, moving you forward through the scene. Sky has a really nice contrast to it, and the uh, the sharp focused foreground sets the stage for moving forward. We're now uh, category one scenic, and this is the second place. Uh, so on this particular photograph there's a juxtaposed contrast between uh, colors and tones throughout the entire photograph. Very sharp, good detail, and the framing uh, leads you to the barn and the roof which has got converging lines on the very top. Category one, scenic. Uh, this is third place. The, uh, the castle, uh, really nice layers of foreground, midground, and background. Creates really nice depth with the contrasting colors as well as the contrasting tones. Good separation uh, of those colors between one another. And it's a very, very tack sharp photograph. Okay, category one scenic honorable mention. Uh, the black trees in here, the dark trees, um, really, really causes con contrast wise to, to stand out, to pop. Um, it's kind of a stark photograph of a time long ago. Exceptional contrast uh, in the color, and uh, the trees, the trees really provide a dramatic appeal to it. Okay, this is category two for, for landscape. Uh, this is first place. Um, the converging lines on the tree take you to the, to the very top of the tree. Uh, foreground focus, the sharp focus, uh, creates strong interest in the subject. The uh, soft focus in the background and in the midground uh, works very, very well with the photograph. Category two landscape, second place. Tech, tech, excuse me, tech sharp focus in the foreground. Uh, exceptional color contrast with the tree. The juxtaposed sky, uh, foreground and mid-tone colors all work very, very well to one another. The category two landscape, third place. The, uh, the S-curves of this lead you up the river and the uh, the frame is very, very nice. It's really put together well. The white and black contrast enhance the sense of winter and makes you feel cold. 
Category two landscapes, honorable mention. The rainbow. This, this makes me want to walk up that hill to the other side and see what's at the very end of that rainbow. Uh, good clarity, and the way that it's framed, it actually pulls you up the hill. Category three, portrait first place. This is an excellent example of Curious Curo, where the background is completely darkened out. Um, and that, that creates uh, a really nice negative space for this, this composition. The flowers help balance out the composition, and the crop itself works very, very well. Category three, portrait second place, baby and mom. Um, and maybe that's not the baby's mother, but it looks like it is the baby's mother. Very sweet and heartfelt photograph. The baby's arm and the mom's arm create lines that push you to the left, where the baby is grabbing those pretty colors. Um, it's nicely framed and very well balanced. Okay, so category three, portrait, uh, and this is third place. Backlighting on this is very nice as indicated by the light on the top of her hair and on her shoulders and around the edges. The light in the front is very slight uh, compared to the backlighting, which works real well to balance out the photograph. This is a, a good photographic technique for portraits. Category three, portrait, honorable mention. Um, there's a slight desaturation of the colors that work very, very well in this photograph. Um, the offset of subjects slightly um, takes advantage of the rule of thirds. And if we were to draw the rules in there, um, you would see that it lines up real, real well. Category four, still life, uh, first place. This is a very dramatic composition. Uh, the crop itself uh, creates a balanced scene, and the backlighting, which is lighting up the helmet, really stirs emotion in this photograph. Category four, still life, um, second place. Well, this driftwood and shells, uh, tack sharp focus in the foreground on the wood and on those shells. Um, the selected focus for this is very, very good. Good choice. Um, your eyes are drawn to the texture and the uh, clarity on the wood and the shells in the foreground. Category four, still life, third place. My eyes were drawn to the orange pumpkin. Um, and it has to do with the contrasting components of color and tone in this photograph. Um, those contrasting colors are very pleasing. Category four, still life, honorable mention. Strong contrast between the background and the uh, Silver spoon portion. Nice sharp focus on the on the subject blueberry. That guy right there. Rule of odds came into effect here. We have the three blueberries in the center, and um, it's very nice from a simplicity perspective. Okay, category five, floral. This is first place. So the flowers actually create a border between themselves and the top portion of the photograph, which is your negative space. Really nice color saturation. And the, uh, the position of the subject, which are the flowers in the background, uh, which is the negative space, really create a nice balance 
to this photograph. Category 5, floral, second place. Very lovely, soft focus on this photograph. Simplicity in this photo. There's not anything in there distracting. And one way that was done was by making it a full frame uh, of this photograph. Category 5, floral, third place. The orange and green, green contrast uh, creates a very interesting uh, photograph. The cropping of it is such that it fills the frame, the subject fills the frame, which is very good because it helps remove any distractions. Um, the composition itself, it really pushes your eyes up uh, to the center of the frame. Category 5 floral, honorable mention. Um, the flower color saturation in this photograph really causes it to pop. Um, nicely framed with the eye uh, moving to the center of the composition. Um, and certainly the contrasting colors are very prominent. Category 6, animal first place. Another example of chiaroscuro with this very dark background. Nice selective focus with the front end of the frog being just tack sharp. White streak in the, in the left hand side over there creates uh, good depth for this photograph. Um, and the negative space to the right is certainly appealing. Category 6, animal, second place. Nice colors and color contrast. The log itself creates depth for this image. And uh, there's a strong and interesting component, which is the texture of the animal itself. Category 6, animal, third place. The uh, focus of the fish is slightly soft underwater. Uh, and that works very, very well. Contrasting colors create strong interest in this subject. And the position of the fish itself and the curves on the water imply movement. Category 6, animal. Honorable mention. The, the silhouettes are very nice. And the diagonal line that's created based on the position of the folks on top of the camel moving down is very nice and creates balance in this photograph. And interestingly enough, the negative space in this photograph is actually in the bottom for the silhouette of the, uh, of the earth below the animals. Category 7, insect, first place. The, uh, this is a balanced comp uh, composition that works very, very well. Uh, the color contrast between the foreground and the background um, really directs you to the middle, to the subject. Good selective focus, uh, obviously with a large aperture. Category 7, insects, second place. A good example of the golden ratio, which deals with um, a spiral moving around comes from the left and moves down to the right. Um, insect position is very well balanced in the frame. Um, complementary colors of the wings really cause the insect to pop in the scene. Very pleasing composition. Category 7, insect, third place. Good selective focus. Colors are certainly noteworthy. And the position of the wood on the bottom and the position of the insects in the middle give the impression of movement. Category 7, insect, honorable mention. I consider this a scary photograph, but in a good way. 
It's very dramatic, um, tack sharp focus in the foreground. Um, movement is implied from from the the way the, the the picture is formatted with the body of the animal coming in from the left and moving down through here. And that nice curve implies movement. Um, very good utilization of foreground light. Category A, black and white, first place. Definitely an impression of adventure in this photograph. Uh, converging lines down at the bottom for uh, providing direction and movement. The bright highlighted uh, clouds uh, create a very interesting negative space. And the, uh, the sepia effect up top is a very nice touch. Category black and white, second place. Sharp subject focus. Uh, diagonal lines are, uh, create balance uh, in, the, in the composition. And there's really nice tonal range of the black and whites. Category eight, black and white, third place. This is a feel of, a, of an abandoned homestead. And I'm sure there's lots of stories that were told in that building. Uh, distinct texture and clarity of the wood. And uh, it's a very, very nice composition, a very nice black and white. Really like all the texture. Category eight, black and white. Honorable mention, interesting repeating forms and lines of the plant itself. The framing is nice because it eliminates any distracting components that may be around the plant. Good clarity, tone, and texture. So, best in show, lovely photograph. Um, this photograph really pops very, very well. The bright colors on the uh, earth tone wood, um, very interesting and just lovely. Um, selective focus is exceptional. Really nice tight focus with a blurred background. Very good. And um, the diagonal lines really benefit the balance in this photograph. Well done. Well, in conclusion, I would like to say that it was an honor to have this opportunity to be a juror for you all in this competition. The quality of the photographs were absolutely exceptional. I was very impressed with the talents that were represented in this show. I would like to say keep moving forward, keep taking your photographs, get advice and, and from others that you shoot with, and keep moving forward, and I hope to have the opportunity to see more of your photos. Thank you very much.